WPA is live in Studio B on WNCW. Glad to have you. Welcome to Spindale. Thanks. Thank Thanks you for having, for us. having us. Awesome. And we've been enjoying the new Works Progress Administration disc. Uh, the core lineup of the group is Glenn, Luke, and Sean. And then uh, like how you have on your website at WPAMusic.com that it's an expandable collective and you have executive board members. So a bit of an <laughs> irony there in the, uh, the whole WPA motif. And you've got the sort of capitalist sort of uh, board members entry in there as well. You, you need a board whether or not it's public service. You gotta have, you gotta have bureaucrats there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we cut this album with eight people. We did it uh, live in the studio. We had five days uh, and did it with Jim Scott. And, um, and so that was uh, Ben Montench from the Heartbreakers on keyboards, Greg Lease on pedal steel, Pete Thomas and Davey Farragher from Elvis Costello's band is the rhythm section. And, uh, and I'm forgetting somebody. Am I forgetting? No, Sarah? I'm not. Oh, and Sarah Watkins, uh, who's, um, well, related to Sean. She's awesome. Yeah, we enjoy some Nickel Creek. You've got some history with Nickel Creek. Yeah, well, we met back in, in 2000, 2000 or 2001? I think, yeah, 2000. Around 2000. They just finished uh, recording their first album and hadn't, hadn't uh, mastered it yet. And uh, Sean had written a song. He uh, thought he might like to have me sing someday and ran into a friend of mine at a uh, folk festival and uh, he got us together and uh, recorded the song Let It Fall with Sean and then a few weeks later they all came down to Largo in LA, this club I'd been playing at a lot and uh, they opened up for me and they ended up sitting in unrehearsed on about half my set and I was I was pretty floored <laughs> and uh, just became good friends. Uh, I did a record with Nickel Creek called uh, Mutual Admiration Society and we did a tour and brought Pete Thomas the drummer out with us. He played on a solo album of mine and that was maybe four or five years ago and that, I mean so there and then Sean and Sarah have a thing at uh, Largo this club in Los Angeles that's really been the center of our creative lives where every Thursday they have the Watkins family hour and their house band is with Greg Lease and with Sebastian Steinberg who also sometimes he's another executive board member we have we have two more here today uh, with Jerry and Tyler it keeps expanding but uh, the uh, you know, their, their house band is Ben Montanch, you know, who's always looking for new songs for Sarah to sing. And I mean, it's a real community and they'll finish the show at Largo and everybody will go over there and jam for two or three more hours. And, um, you know, it's a really great community and uh, especially coming from the rock world where uh, you don't necessarily play after hours and you don't uh, necessarily play with the competition all the time. You know, there's this more adversarial idea. And I think they bringing that bluegrass background, that idea of, you know, what you do, you play songs to each other, you jam, you share, and it's, it's really open and really supportive. I mean, even the fact that, you know, as a young player, like they were in the bluegrass world, your heroes are actually actively teaching you and supporting you and, and putting you forward, which, you know, it, it's it, that generosity of spirit of that, I think is really a lot of what this band came out of in the community that Sean and Sarah have built up in Los Angeles around what they do. Well, wow. and should also mention just as far as people knowing each other, I mean, the other part of this, Sean and I, um, so we've known each other about 10 years. Uh, he and Luke probably met when they were what, 14, 12. Yeah. I, I was, I think 12 and you were 14, yeah. some, somewhere in there. Yeah. We grew up playing in bluegrass, seeing each other randomly at festivals and stuff. And, so yeah, a lot of a lot of history there. Well, it's it's come together so well. It, it might seem from the outside that it would be a little bit unwieldy for as many people to to be so active and and, and to have so many hands so sort of in the pie. But it's come off and it's been really nice. Yeah, I mean you can you can cram a, a clown car really full if you know what you're doing, basically. <laughs> <laughs> so. We had we just kind of um, basically formed around the making of this record. We had. All these relationships that you know developed, um, you know, Ben Mont and Pete Thomas have known each other for like 35 years, and um, and so uh, we kind of just collectively put together this this group and um, and recorded these songs, and um, in the process of it, figured out that it wasn't just an experiment or a, you know a novelty record, but that we really wanted to to make something of it and go out and tour with it. So um, it kind of was a, a completely backwards way of 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 doing it, you know, making a record and then trying to figure out how to how to make it work after that. Um, so it took some, you know, it took a couple of years of figuring, but we're we're yeah. we're at it now. We had to define it after we made the record and, you know, go, okay, we're the three primary songwriters, three singers, and for all of us we can make this 
the priority in our lives. We can really concentrate on this and try to get it off the ground. And for everybody else, it's this labor of love and they're all, you know, very invested in it, but it, it, it's been an interesting process to, to, to figure out what this thing is. Great to have you in Spindale in support of the new Works Progress Administration album. And thinking about the violin and the sort of uh, some of the pop structures of the music, uh, uh, almost thinking back to some Waterboys sort of comparisons, perhaps. But oh, yeah. it made me think, you know, that. how many violins are, are in music like this? It's uh, you know, surprisingly, actually, there's 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 getting to be more and more, but it's a uh, it's it's nice to see that happening, you know, and it's also uh, fun for me in this in this configuration in this experience. You know, my background is primarily um, uh, acoustic music and bluegrass and um, sort of newgrass and Texas style fiddling and all that kind of all that kind of thing, and so it's really fun for me to you know have to think about this stuff in a little bit of a different way and, and approach it in a different way. It's been really fun having Sarah around too. You know, she and I get to play together and come up with these parts. We we played, we stood right next to each other in the studio and played all this stuff live, you know, as it, as we were, we did the whole thing live that way. It was really fun, you know, it was like really communicating with each other uh, musically as it, as it was happening. So that's always fun too when she can be around. The the touring group is going to kind of come and go a little bit, depending? Yeah, exactly. We've, we've done some shows with all eight of us. Uh, Don Heffington sometimes is drummed. We've got, uh, you know, it's it, it's been all over the place. Uh, and we're going to have uh, Jenny Ann, actually, Luke's sister, who's an amazing uh, fiddler and uh, singer, and she's going to join us on some of the Northwest gigs. And um, I mean, once again, since it's been open to this, I think we, there, there's a certain amount that we want to make sure we can have a core that's always a certain degree of quality. Um, I mean, Greg Lease is going to come out in a couple of days, join us in Nashville um, and play some pedal steel. And uh, But I like the idea that it can keep changing and we can, you know, step up to the bat when it's a five piece and fill it out. And it's been great to, you know, realize how, how big we can make that sound. And it's also wonderful to let the other people step in and, you know, it's it's been really fun. That's good. It's, there's a lot of uh, different experiences in the in this lineup and in the, you know, on the studio record too with sort of a multi-generational approach yeah. yeah yeah that's really fun you know getting getting to be in the studio with those guys is, is really really a learning experience and it's just i mean it's endless fun because they're just such characters you know and yeah not only not only all the music that you know the great music that happens and getting to listen to everything they play but all the stories and listening yeah. to records and you know all the stuff that goes along with that it's just such a great experience it's interesting to see how the instrumentation guides the sound but the the, the composition is for the most part not not in a really strict uh you know country or bluegrass mode or anything like that and so it's um I mean, it, it's a really fun album because we're, we have, we're dancing around in our own little genre that I guess is, you know, can be Americana and some broader. So it, it, it's great to hear these instruments kind of doing music that they're not used to doing. <laughs> and uh, it's a lot of fun to be in the middle of that. Yeah, there's some power to it. There's some anthemic kind of qualities. But like you say, it's, it's, it's based in acoustic sort of uh, instrumentation, at least for the most part. Yeah, and it, I mean, and it's based on a songwriting, you know, it's still trying to do a, a kind of, I call it portable songs. It's, a, you know, a song that if you break it down and take the band away and you sit there with the ukulele, it still works. And, you know, we, we tried to make sure the core of all the songs, rather than being based on instrumentation, rather than being based on, uh, you know, production, it's, mm -hmm. yeah, or arrangement, it's it's all music at its at its, you know, smallest level. And then got to see how it fit this container of these eight. All right, WPA wrapping up their set live in Studio B on WNCW this afternoon, playing tonight at the Gray Eagle. Best wishes for the new Record Works Progress Administration, and thanks for coming. I hope you have a great show at the Gray Eagle tonight. Thanks, thanks for having us. Thank you.